Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The beginning of this surah is Alhamdulillahi. Now, when we look at the Arabic word Alhamd, the word Hamd is preceded by Alif and Lam. This is known as the generic Alif and Lam, which means all, every. And Hamd means praise. And as far as the exegy of the word Hamd is concerned, the semantic sort of analysis, the ulama say Hamd is praise given to an action that has been conducted through will, awareness, consciousness, and with full knowledge of what that action is. So then, when something is done to the best of what it can be done, we say that particular action that has concluded is worthy of praise. But we are not praising the action, we are praising the actor. So when we say Alhamdulillah, we are saying therefore, all praise is for Allah. When we say all praise, it in itself implies that we are acknowledging the beautiful, meticulous, precise design of the whole of the universe or whatever we are seeing around us, which includes not only the mechanical function of the universe, but it also includes within it our own intellectual endeavors and the human exploration and the human evolution. And together with that, we are also like philosophers standing away from our own existence and looking at the way our emotional system works, how we get joyed, how we fall in love, how we feel anger, how we feel rage, and how all of it comes together so beautifully and meticulously. This is at an intellectual level. At an experiential level, we may arrive at a point of enlightenment where we can actually spiritually feel the beauty of the working of the whole system together with its dungeons and together with its rose gardens, together with its grand humanitarians and saints and with its tyrants and demonic personalities, together with its saintly and angelic qualities and its beastly qualities and how beautifully they all blend in together. So when we say Alhamdu, we are saying all praise which I acknowledge and which I see, and I see nothing but the meticulous, precise working of the universe. Lillahi is for Allah. Why do we not use any word other than Allah? We explained this in the last session. Li Allah, for Allah. Allah is the mother of all names. And Allah means the one that organizes all affairs and to whom all affairs tend. So Allah is the one who is at the peak of all functions. So, Alhamdulillah. Hamd is for Allah. Because we look at the aspect of Allah's creation, Khaliqiyah, His sustenance, Raziqiyah, His giving of life, Muhi, His taking of life away, Mumit, so on and so forth. We are praising the aspect of giving the life. We are praising the aspect of renewal of life. We are praising the aspect of arrangement of life. We are praising the aspect of nurturing of life, so on and so forth. Since we are praising all aspects, we are praising the aspects of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it's most befitting to say Alhamdulillah, as opposed to Alhamdulil Khalik. Because we were to say Alhamdulil Khalik, we are only praising the Creator in the creational aspect. But here we are saying all praise, in which Khaliqiyah, Raziqiyah, all of these are included, and that can only go to the source of all in its entirety, and that is Allah. So, Alhamdulillahi. Then we say, to what is my hamd owed? What am I perceiving? What am I understanding? And where am I deriving this statement that all praise? Rabbal Alameen, the nurturer 